Man, let me tell you motherfucker something, okay? And you ain't supposed to cuss in the first five minutes of the video or YouTube cuss your money off and shit like that, but I don't give a fuck. Let me tell y'all. Y'all didn't think it was important. Now, y'all know I've been busy building websites and other YouTube channels and shit trying to generate another income. And y'all didn't think it was important to tell CSI when he came back that Hold on, this shit off over here. Hold on. Motherfucker. Listen, people. What have we been waiting on? Huh? What have we been waiting on? We've been locked in a battle with these motherfuckers. And we all know that Ken Griffin is the head over here on the blacks of the chessboard. All right. He's the head over there. He's the king of the black side of the chessboard. We've been in a battle with that motherfucker for three years now. And we've been waiting on somebody to hold this motherfucker accountable for what he's done to not me and not you, the market overall. That he's the head of the snake people on the black side of the chessboard. Man, uh, I don't even want to talk about that bullshit, detective. Thank you for telling me. I hadn't watched a fucking eight father video in forever. And if anybody is talking shit about Lou and his death, I don't want to know about it because I don't want to have to flash the fuck out. But I'm more mad about this right now. Don't get my fucking anger redirected toward fucking eight father. Y'all ain't gonna believe what the fuck happened, people. And if I don't think nobody knows, I don't think because I I keep up. There are some YouTube people that I follow for the news, and they haven't reported on what I'm fixing to tell y'all. You are gonna be so fucked up when I tell you. I'm just waiting on some more people to get up in this son bitch because I want everybody to know what the SEC has done. <sighs> son of a bitch. When I read that, let me tell you something. Off topic till we get 100 people in here. We get 100 people in here, I'm going to tell y'all what the SECs did. But I was over there researching AMC has a secret web page, in case y'all don't know. And I was doing the research on it and fixing to bring the video and tell y'all about the AMC secret web pages that, and I was going to show you my website and how a secret page works because I have secret pages on my website. And I know where AMC's secret web pages are. All right. I used to do this shit. I told y'all that. So I went over there and I was reading the secret pages and shit. And one dog got on a trail and it went after it. And where this motherfucking trail ended, people, I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe. How many people know that? Okay, let me start back over since we got a lot more people in here. Hit the like button for me. Get, a, get it out there to more people, people. Everybody needs to hear what I'm fixing to tell y'all. That we've been waiting on somebody to hold King Griffin and the rest of these bad acting market makers who's destroyed our stock market and economy. Hold them accountable. And did you know that the SEC has went head to head with the snake and it's cut the head of the snake off already? It's already been brought before the SEC. Citadel has been charged with illegal short selling practices by the SEC. Now, I didn't know that. I've been busy. But I would have thought somebody would text CSI or call CSI and say, hey, everything we've been waiting on has happened the SEC has finally charged Citadel with short selling practices that were illegal 
Nobody thought it was important to tell us this. I'm going to bring the receipt. Be cool. I'm going to show you the receipt where the SEC went after Citadel and won recently on their illegal short selling practices. All right, we got a hundred. I'm going to try to share my screen. When I do it on YouTube lives, it blacks it out. So I'm going to take you to the receipt and I'm going to read it to you. But here's what's happened. The SEC has charged Citadel with illegal short selling practices. And Citadel has settled the case with the SEC. And they did it with uh, denial, you know, no admittance of guilt to the accusation. And they were fined by the SEC. That has happened, people. Everything that we have been waiting on to finally happen and Citadel be put to the carpet over what they've done has already happened. It's already happened. You are so close. Listen, this is what pisses me the fuck off. King Griffin's wallet. He carries more in his wallet than what the SEC has fined him for what he's done to us. You know, the protectors of retail investors. Oh, Luna. I forgot about Luna. Y'all hit the like button for me. <laughs> How much did they find them? Do y'all know? I'm telling you, this is very recent, people. This is this has been within five months ago that this happened. That SEC, the SEC brought charges against Citadel. Citadel settled with a. Uh, we're not going to admit we're guilty, but here's a few dollars for your, your troubles. And the SEC said, okay. And then we're going to talk about what comes next. <laughs> Eric, have you been here? You've been hearing what I'm saying? I'm saying the SEC has settled with Citadel over their illegal short selling practices. And I'm going to bring you to the receipt. I'm going to try it right now. Let's see if I can get it over there. I don't want to, want to share the screen, bitch. There it is. Let's see. Y'all going to have to tell me in the comments if you can see it. If you can see the page right here. Put a one in the chat. Y'all ought to be able to see it now, right? It's the SEC charges Citadel with violating order marking requirements of short sale regulations. Okay. Y'all see it? Let me switch on over there so I can move the screen now. The SEC charges Citadel Securities for violating order marking requirements of short sale regulations. Now, I heard about this a little, but nobody said the impact of what it meant. And look what it says, people. The Securities and Exchange Commission today announced settling charges against broker-dealer Citadel Securities for violating a provision of regulation SHO. All right. That, that is what we have been complaining about. It has been settled. The regulatory framework designed to address abusive short selling practices, which requires broker dealers to mark sale orders as long, short, or short exempt. All right. Illegal. Abusive, short selling practices and they settled for seven million fucking got them 
dead to the right. There he is. We got to in. Well, okay, what's the fine? Seven million dollars. You stole trillions. And I mean that, people. I don't mean just billions. I mean these motherfuckers have stole trillions out of the market and continue to do it. And they find him seven million dollars. What the fuck is really going on? Mom, I need a haircut. I need to go get me a haircut, don't I? <laughs> Seven million. We've been waiting on them to be called on the carpet for their, their illegal short selling practices. And when they did, they find them motherfuckers more. Probably what the fucking tire costs on one of his cars. Huh? His spare tire costs as much what the fucking SEC just buying them. I was on the trail of showing y'all about the tokenized stocks and how they're using tokenized stocks and shit like that. And AMC's a part of it. I was making that video when this news popped up. Seven million dollar fine. Seven million. King Griffin felt that was all it was worth because of what King Griffin has done to us as retail investors. Because if he found out about the illegal short selling practices they were doing, he knows who they were doing it to. He knows it was us. He knows it was a handful of other ones too, but he knows who the fucking victims are in this. And you say the victims deserve $7 million and we don't even get it. It goes to him. How the fuck does this happen? Thank God Lou passed before this happened. A snow, it's not a slap on the wrist. It's a slap in the motherfucking face to every retail, I want to say every American, but every retail investor in the world. You slapped us in the face like that after three years of fighting. They already settled for $7 million. These motherfuckers. The mirror in his bathroom costs that much. And that's that, all right? Now, I was on the trail of telling y'all about the fucking tokenized stock and how I've been trying to tell y'all months and months and months ago how they did it, and AMC is a part of it, of the tokenized bullshit. Some of y'all didn't want to hear it because of the initials that gets used when you talk about the tokenization. Y'all get mad and you go, I don't give a fuck about an NFT. You don't understand what NFTs are and what they do, how they're related to AMC and the secret web page that's on AMC's website. Oh, Red Star, what's up? Thank you, man. I was thinking about Lou today and, you know, I thought to myself, because I've seen a couple conspiracy theory videos about it already. And I thought, boy, you think the conspiracy shit wouldn't kick off if something was to happen to me or Donahue? Because <laughs> we're two of the most outspoken motherfuckers. I seen Donahue's video on it and it made me laugh. I said, me too, bitch. If I die, everybody's going to believe, oh, God, they done got Lou and they got his out. Donahue be next. <laughs> oh, they're going to get Donahue and I'm going hiding. <clears throat> These motherfuckers, $7 million. Oh, Lord. Bear done woke up. I think, you know what I think it is? I think Bear wants to be a movie star. Come here, man. Now, see, now you didn't get up here. Now, here comes the big dog. <laughs> the big dog says, no, 
and he gets in daddy's lap because it's cookie, it's cookie time. I know y'all know what time it is, motherfucker. It's 12 o'clock to get a cookie. She ain't going to get her fat ass up off the couch. <laughs> you think these dogs ain't smart? They know that at 12 o'clock, whenever I'm doing my thing at 12 o'clock, I give them a cookie. What's going on, bodyguard? I was. I tell you, it was really. I'm reading y'all's comments now, so if y'all want to talk about something, comment. Y'all want to see? Y'all want? Y'all want to see another piece of the puzzle? Huh? I'm, I'm gonna show y'all a piece of the puzzle since I know now that I can share my screen. Let's see. Uh, the email. Y'all want to talk about the email? The secret email that CSI's got? Let me share my screen. It's not a secret, secret email. Uh, but it had, we had to get it through discovery. So let me see if I can let y'all see this. Type of one when you... Is this it? Yes, this is it. Y'all can probably see that by now, right? Y'all read over that real quick. I'm going to show y'all what the important part is. Open your damn eyes. <laughs> James said he can see out of both his eyes. All right, check this shit out. This is an email sent from Kevin Connor. Sent Thursday, May 19, 2022. I'm high as shit. Y'all bear with me. To Sean Goodman and John Merriweather. And when he sent Sean Goodman and John Merriweather this email, he also sent it to Adam Aaron and Eddie. And it says, Sean and John. And copy to Adam. Further to my note, to you on May 9th, and per the below, we continue and explore the well DF King, a unique dividend structure that might allow us to authorize more common stock. We also checked with the New York Stock Exchange, and to my surprise, they have no objection. That was important. The tricky part determining whether we can implement something similar to affect share authorization would carry a vote. Per the below, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to call Sean and everybody else, but here it comes. You ready? In fact, let me highlight this motherfucker for you. Blow it up too. Fuck. Do, 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 do. Y'all see it? What are they talking about? They're talking about APE, A P E, and the release of it on the New York Stock Exchange. They were surprised. Everybody knows that part of the story. But what I want you to focus on is this line right here. Sensitive to Adam's concern that the stockholder base might react negatively. Negatively to what? To APE being created. Okay? And that it might collide with our CSE offering. Now, when I'm making the video a little while ago, I pulled up the old schoolhouse rock to do the conjunction junction with y'all and shit. And you know YouTube. I, it was copyrighted, and I said, oh, I can't get a copyright strike. So I couldn't use the conjunction junction train, all right, teaching you about and, but, and are, and so forth, and what they mean. Let me show y'all something. This sentence is broken into two parts. It's this part.
Oh, bitch. There it is. This part. And this part. I'm taking y'all to school tonight, motherfuckers. All right. Now, that sentence is broken into two things. They're talking about ape being real. Adam's concern over the shareholder base reacting negatively. And that went on for a little while. They talked about how they could use Twitter and shit. But the point is this. Not only was he worried about how we were going to react, he was also concerned that it might collide with our CSE offering. See, at the same time they were doing eight, something else was going on. And he tells you right here in this email, in this sentence, that Adam's worried about how shareholders are going to feel about the eight share dividend bullshit. All right. And he was worried that it might collide with something that they had going on. So what was it that they had going on that Adam Aaron was concerned about would be the question. Motherfucker, you want to know where the moon's at? Go look out your window. Go look outside real quick. You're going to see the fucking moon. So what was the CSE offering that Adam Aaron was concerned about. Hold on now. If we do the eight, because see, remember, it wasn't Adam Aaron's idea. It was Citigroup's idea. They came to Adam Aaron with it, and Adam Aaron was sharing his concerns. Okay, now how, what about the retail investors? How, how are they going to feel about it? All right, not that he gave a fuck, <laughs> but he wanted to know. He was concerned about how, how would we react to ape dividend and the dilution of ape and so forth. Uh, he was concerned about that, and he was concerned about the CSE offering that they had going on. He didn't want the two to collide with one another. Come on. What are y'all thinking? I'm talking my ass off. Ain't none of y'all even responding back to me. All right. I'm talking about something else right now, Red Star. Don't get me off track. <laughs> Bitcoin ETF I, I, I'm hearing it I'm not focused on it so I'm not familiar I know I got an idea that's a Larry Fink thing and that's good for us Mike, Mike, you just got here God dog, Mike I done talk about the SEC, Citadel Fucking, I'm about to expose them. I can show you who wants to see the secret page over there on AMC's webpage. You see, I can tell y'all about these kind of things. Could I have a website? Let me show y'all. Watch this. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> <laughs> Motherfucker just spinning, ain't it? All right. That's my website, the GPT zone. All right. And uh, y'all know how motherfucking websites work. <coughs> That's my home page. You can click on one of these tabs. These are other pages. Now, I've got pages on my blog that I don't advertise to the public because it ain't none of y'all's motherfucking business what I got going on in the office behind the scenes, all right? So what you see is public, but there's also a section inside of the website that's private and only certain people who have the link or have a password can access those pages of the website. 
and AMC has pages like that, and I have found them. Who would like to see AMC's secret page on their website? One that they don't promote. One that they say, hey, hey. you know, it's just there. And I'm going to tell you why it's there. It's connected to what's called their CSE offering. So, boy, if you jump in and you're like, I don't know, what are we talking about? I'm talking about every motherfucking thing tonight. Because I'm catching up on the news, so I'm catching y'all up, too, because nobody told us. Nobody told me Citadel settled with the fucking SEC, and that now that's it. That's it. There is no more going forward against. They've already done did what they're going to do to Citadel, period. And then I get over here and I'm looking at these tokenized securities of AMCs and I remember about the secret website. So I go back to it and I'm reading it and I'm updating myself and I'm like, okay, maybe y'all can understand now when I show y'all this email that I just showed y'all. All right. That says that Adam Aaron was concerned how shareholders would feel about eight being released and he was concerned that it would collide with a CSE offering that he had going on. He didn't want Ape interrupting that. So what is a CSE offering? That'll be the topic of a lot of YouTubers tomorrow. And I'm wondering, should I tell y'all what the CSE offering is? And let these other motherfucking YouTubers go do some DD and find out. They find Citadel seven million dollars, people, and it's over with. They done been brought before the SEC for their illegal short selling practices, and the SEC find them seven million dollars. Go back, watch the video. I talk about it. I showed you the receipt. That happened in September. September that happened. Five months ago. You don't get a motherfucking thing. That went in Gary's pocket. I wouldn't even want $7 million. I'd slap that motherfucker for saying $7 million to me. Some people's got that much. in. I know you ain't going to believe, but some people's got that much invested in AMC. <laughs> They're not going to like the way it's going to turn out. I tell you what, if they don't do something soon, motherfuckers is not going to like the way it turns out. That you, you said it right as I was saying it too. They're not going to like the way this turns out if they don't put a stop to it. It's written in, in the cards. It's written on the wall. What's going to happen soon, God damn it, if they don't put a stop to this right now. You find that motherfucker $7 million. I know I've seen the Tyson food video. I wish I could cover shit like that, but people get mad when I want to talk about shit like that. Tyson food. You motherfuckers. In fact, let me show you. You saw. I went today and bought some chicken tenders to make sandwiches with. And I was about to reach and grab a Tyson. And I said, oh, no, motherfucker, fuck you. You're going to. Lay off, i.e. fire, 57,000 fucking American employees just to hire illegal immigrants that came into this country illegally. I don't want to buy none of your shit. That's, yeah, you're right. And it's not the reason they gave us that. It's the reason they told us you better hold on to you because if you might need it again. 
You know, there was no revolution going on over in Britain during the American Revolution. Uh, they wasn't having no civil war over there. They were all united. It was only the ones over here saying, man, man, fuck y'all over there. What's up? Oh, my God. I'm high. I can't fucking see your name. It's long, though. I see you have arrived. Paul, Tyson Foods said they're laying off 57,000 Americans and they're hiring 57,000 illegal immigrants to take their place. They're not even hiding it. They come right out and tell motherfuckers. And that's another reason why they've let these bitches over here is because these big corporations that we buy stock in, all right, they set up a fucking program where if these children are coming in and they don't have family, these rich motherfuckers adopt them and they put them to work in the fucking factories. That's what's going on in this goddamn country. That's why they won't stop what's going on at that border. And it's not going to stop until motherfuckers put a stop to it. Just like this goddamn financial market that it ain't going to stop till it comes back to what Paul was just saying. And that's what I'm worried about. Because you have slapped every motherfucking person that's ever had a dollar. And I ain't talking about just us. I'm talking about forever. That's invested in our market to have let this shit happen. And you find them $7 million, you motherfucker. There should have, you should have had a public lynching with him. To show the other motherfuckers, you better stop. But no, seven million dollars. His fucking refrigerator at his house costs that much, probably. He's got a seven billion dollar home, smart home. I'm sure his refrigerator cost seven million dollars. So, <laughs> out of a billion dollar home, the SEC said. We'll take your refrigerator. <laughs> Man, look. What you I, what I'm worried about. I don't advocate violence. I don't tell nobody to not do something, and I don't tell them to do anything. All right. But when it comes to like prophecy. You don't have to be a prophet and have God talking to you to know the future. All you have to do is look back and see what has happened. And if it repeats itself, it's going to happen fucking again. And people are fed up. They're fed up. They're fed up with everything. It ain't just the stock market. It ain't just AMC. They're fed up with everything. This is a warning to these motherfuckers. That you know how it's going to go down in the end. They're going to stop that shit going across that goddamn border. We're going to stop this bullshit that's in the financial system. And everything else across the board where Tyson can lay off 57,000 people. Americans. That's got families to support. Probably working two jobs. You're going to lay them off and hire an illegal that's come across that motherfucking border? My goddamn ass, I'll never buy Tyson again. They thought the Budweiser fucking boycott was bad. Wait a minute, y'all didn't know that. Some people didn't. Thank you for bringing it up. Enough's enough in this goddamn country out of these motherfuckers that think they run it. You won't have a Walmart motherfucker if we quit shopping in it. I'm going to tell you something else is going on. I don't want to know any other information about your banking. I'll tell you about my experience. All right. Is that I keep going some places and they will not let me fucking swipe my card. They will not let me use the chip. If I'm going to use that card, I have to tap it. 
And I'm wondering why our place is starting to make it mandatory to tap the fucking machine instead of using the stick it in the slot. You better start thinking about that because that's important too. What happened with MMTLP? I hear bits and pieces about it. And y'all know I'm real busy uh, on this other channel. Oh, I got a surprise for everybody. Okay. I took the two books that my brother were wanting to work with Chad GPT and write. I took those two books and I made them audio books. They're over on the GPT channel. Okay. Then... I made GameStop Greed and Glory, the second book in the AMC series. I've made it an audio book, and it's over there, too. So y'all can go listen to GameStop Game and Glory, Boardroom Betrayal, over on the other channel. And it's telling you about the Senate hearing. Man, November can't get here fast enough. I'm going to tell you what. You going to you got so much gasoline. See, ain't nobody struck the fire yet, but when that fire hits, that gasoline's gonna explode. And when it explodes, these motherfuckers is through. Somebody just made the comment about not being able to walk down the street. The man, <laughs> man, 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 man. They about to find the fuck out. I think they about to find the fuck out. I think they're about to find the fuck out about all of it. Not just fucking what they've done to AMC and GME and all our other favorite meme stocks. Citigroup. And I love this part of the video because this is where I'm supposed to make a qualifier that says, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Anything I say may be on my opinion and I could be absolutely fucking wrong. I don't give a fuck. I went through all that and forgot what I was going to tell y'all. <laughs> That's some good weed. My friend bought me some. It's about right from wrong. Uh, M-Step. Man, y'all got to help keep me on track. The AMC secret page. Who wants to see the AMC secret page on AMC's website? And when I say secret page, I mean, it's not one that they promote and say, hey, look, everybody, just like you can go see a movie. Check this out. They don't have that on. These are for, this page is for a select few. Watch this. I'm going to show y'all the AMC page. I'm going to show y'all first the AMC page. See, this is AMC. All right. And you can see what movies are playing and so forth and so on. I'm thinking of getting a membership. Because I don't do nothing but fucking watch movies when I'm not working. That's all to get me a membership because I got an AMC right up the road. And I could do movie reviews. But it would really be AMC theater reviews about how my experience was at AMC. Who'd like to see that kind of shit? But what you're not going to find here is... Let me stop sharing. And I got to share a different tab because you can't get to it from AMC's web page. Where is it at? There it is. Can y'all see that now? Let me see a one if y'all can see it. Put a one in the chat. That's their web page that explains the terms and conditions of the NFT 
that they give out. The I own AMC, the I own A, High Croft Gold, High Croft Black, and all that other shit. It's coming up. Just give it a second. When you're streaming, I watch too much porn. Uh, it goes slow. <laughs> All right, y'all can see the motherfucker now, okay? You can't get to this web this web page unless, and my dog went down a trail, and I'd be a son of a bitch if I didn't find that link. And what this page means, also connected <clears throat> to the email that I showed y'all. I've been sick. <clears throat> The email in, that I just showed y'all, Adam Aaron was concerned about two things. Sore throat. I was sick today. Y'all better put a mask on. <laughs> I passed somebody driving yesterday, and that woman had a fucking mask on in the car by herself. And I thought, are you fucking kidding me? Those are the type of people that they need to stop and evaluate and say, hey, are you okay? <laughs> do you do realize this is 2024? You don't need the mask no more. I have went Lou on y'all. Y'all some bitches ain't even caught it yet. Didn't Lou have a pet? What was Lou's pet? Luna. Nobody ever found Luna. <laughs> Poor Luna. Luna's out there now looking for Lou. New York Angelo. Let me tell you something. New York Angelo's video is what put me on the fucking dog's trail. All right. And I ended up at the SEC's already settled with Citadel for $7 million. So I was watching New York Angelo, all right? But you got to understand something. Any video you watch from New York Angelo, and he is a great source of information, but you have to check the timestamp of what he's telling you because he just put out a video about, what was it? Oh, the suspicious, they're doing the tokenized stock thing, and he's doing a video about that. He's portraying it as current, but that was like a year and four months ago that that article was written. So they're not just doing it now. They did it back then, and he didn't tell everybody that. So you got to – I love his information. He looks like the fucking count on Sesame Street, all right? And Bert and Ernie just moved in with fucking the grouch. That's how bad the economy is over there on Sesame Street. And they talking about Big Bird for Thanksgiving. But it's good news. I didn't say anything bad. Angelo's, it, it's kind of like this. A lot of Angelo's content could be considered uh, evergreen, which means it was relevant then and it's relevant now. So it is relevant. Sometimes you, we, even though like the SEC charge, you didn't know that happened. Tell me you already knew the SEC went head to head with Citadel on their illegal no naked short selling practices and only fined them $7 million. You tell me you already knew that? And I'm going to call three quarters of y'all a damn lie because I didn't know it and I keep up with the fucking news. And it's because nobody reported it. Now, in a year from now, Angelo might get around to the story. But <laughs> I love him. He reminds me of the count. Oh, oh, oh. Feel for real still around? I ain't, I ain't. There's some people, I hadn't seen Commander 35 until he just came out. 
I thought he was in jail. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. A commander, because I used to kick it with commander. Dog, I thought you was in jail, bro. When you quit making videos, I said, well, they done finally got that crazy motherfucker. But he's been fucking living life. Balling. And Miss Lou and came back and did a Lou video. And you don't look like a young kid anymore. In your videos, you used to look so young. It looks like life done whooped your ass, young man. But I mean, I was just saying the same thing. That's not the same commander that we were used to seeing. And we appreciate your video. And we know you love Lou. Who are we talking about here? Man, we didn't even get the scrap off of fucking Citadel's table. <laughs> now that one, that one, man, if, if I didn't have a character in the AMC books already called Cowboy Clown, that would be the nickname I'd use, Steve. Oh, man. He did look like little Nicky. Now that you said that. What else is going on? Oh, the secret page. Oh, the S, the CSE offering. Let me go back over there because a lot of y'all are new here. Y'all didn't see me show that page. So let me show y'all this email again. And let me explain to you what's going on now. All right. Discussing in this email how APE was going to be created and how they were surprised that the New York Stock Exchange was going to let them do whatever it was that they were trying to do. They were surprised that the New York Stock Exchange was going to let them. And down in the email, it says that Aaron has concerns about how the stockholder base might react negatively to the creation of ape. And he was also concerned that it might collide with the S, the CSE offering. Now, I ask you a question. If ape was created, then what is the CSE offering? that he had going on that he didn't want ape interfering with. I know the answer to that. I know the answer to that. I know what the CSE offering was. That he didn't want to collude, collide with what he had going on. Eight. Now, listen, I'm down with doing ape, but let's make sure it don't collide with what we got going on right here, too. The CSE offering. What was the CSE offering? I'm not going to tell y'all tonight. <laughs> I'm going to let these YouTubers, they ought to be curious enough to go, wait a minute, what was a CSE offering that was going on? That Adam Aaron didn't want Ape interfering with. What was that offering? Hmm. Where's my movie star, son? I come on live. That's on business new. I should have looked at the clock and that it was 12 o'clock and gave it to him first. I did too for when Lou would say shit like that. I was so close. I was so close, Ivan. I was this close. I didn't know it. When I was in the military, I was a military police officer, by the way. 
and studied crime scene investigation techniques and shit like that. And I didn't know that in the army, you could have been a lawyer. All right. But they had such a thing called a jag. I was a country boy. I didn't know about all that bullshit. And when I took my ASVAB school uh, class and test and passed it, and I was the third highest in the state when I took my test. And they offered me any position I wanted, and I could choose whichever fucking destination because my score was so high. And I wanted to be a military police officer. I had no idea. I could have, in the Army, I would have went on to law school there, become a JAG, got out of the Army, and your life could have went a whole different other way. Instead, I was a military police officer who used to go in the bars and fight like a motherfucker, tear it up, and have my friends come arrest me. <laughs> yeah, only Lou can say that phrase. Go fuck. Because only he can make it funny. All right. <clears throat> I couldn't take a line like that. But he had the ducks and I got the dogs. And I got the secret. I know that there was another offering. I've been telling y'all over and over that they had another offering going on at the same time. They had eight going on. That Adam Aaron was worried Ape would fuck with that offering and he didn't want to interrupt what they were doing over there. All the other YouTubers got to do now is follow them out and ball and find out what the fuck. Let's, what's the date on that email again? So everybody, in case somebody wants to go look, Thursday, May 19th, 2022 at 6.04 p.m., Sean, Mary, Sean Goodman and John Merriweather got an email from Kevin Collins. And it shared Adam's concerns on two bases when it came to Ape. And one of them was, it ain't gonna fuck with what we got going on over here, is it? And they convinced him, no, in fact, it can even make it there. And they did. Because I know what the CSE offering was. Oh, <laughs> I, I want to tell y'all what it is, but I know that there's another email that connects this email where Citigroup, all right, when they're discussing their concerns about eight being created, all right, because everybody involved got to say what their concerns were, and they worked on fixing everything. And Citigroup had a concern, and the concern was rather the CSE offering was going to, uh, they were going to get their CSE offering part, you know. In other words, we got this going on over here. Well, Citigroup's concern was, well, can we get a piece of it over here too? And I'm going to tell y'all what it is yet. Let's let some of the YouTubers do some homework. Oh, that's a whole nother thing. That's a good thing about going live because y'all can remind me because I do a lot of research and I get caught up and forget half the fucking research I do. And y'all remind me in a live like this. What was it you just said? Leaving Robin Hood. Robin Hood. The connection of Robin Hood. That's why you need to go listen to that audio book on my channel. All right. Because it discusses the GME hearing that was going on in Congress as it related to Robin Hood and Citadel. And it's an audio book now over on the other channel. Look up in the search bar. 
the GPT zone. That's me. When left Robin Hood. Okay. Why Robin Hood took the buy button? I've told y'all this. This ought to be elementary to every fucking body. All right. Here's what happened the day before they took the buy button is that Vlad and Kenny fell out. Vlad was sticking to the payment for order flow rate and Citadel was wanting a lower rate than what everybody else was getting. And Vlad said, no, everybody gets the same price for the order flow. And Citadel got mad at them January 27th, 2021. January 20. January 2021, Vlad got the phone call at 3 o'clock. And nobody stops to make the connection there. That what is Vlad even doing getting the phone call? Because what happens is he accepts the order. He sends the order to Citadel. Only on the 21st, Citadel refused to buy the order flow from Robin Hood. Because Robin Hood wouldn't play ball on lowering the rate for them, Citadel said, no, we don't want it. So then at 3 o'clock in the morning, they called Vlad and they said, hey, motherfucker, Citadel don't want this shit. What are you going to do? And Vlad said, holy fuck, what do you mean he ain't going to take it? And if you watch the movie, that's the part in the movie where he goes, maybe it's time for me and Ken to talk. Because Ken had fucked over him and said, man, fuck Robin Hood and their order flow on the 21st. Yes, market makers can refuse the order flow. Yes. Well, Vlad said, fuck y'all. You pay the same price as everybody else. The next morning, that's all in the book and it's all in the congressional hearing. This was Vlad's testimony. And the next morning, they got the phone call. They have to come up with the money in the, for these shares because Citadel didn't buy the order flow. And he told his buddies, don't buy it either. And Robin Hood was fixing to go under. I'm <laughs> putting, you, putting your baby to sleep. Okay. I'll try not to cuss. So, January 20th, Vlad tells Kenny no. 21st, Kenny tells them, I don't want your fucking order flow, bitch. They get the call, 3 o'clock in the morning, come up with the money. They took the buy button. Why? Because they could not accept any money. They didn't have any more money. Every penny that Robin Hood had, had to go up as collateral for that order flow. Ken Griffin fucked over them. Do not think Ken Griffin and Vlad are good friends. They are not. Vlad didn't. That's what I'm telling y'all. Man, I, do you know how many times I watched that congressional hearing over and over and over again? Vlad put it on Ken Griffin's ass. He told everybody, if we go to zero settlement, the problem in the market would be over. Vlad told them that that day. And when they asked Ken Griffin right behind them, what do you think about that, Ken? Ken goes, oh, that ain't possible. We can't get that. You can't go to zero settlement. And Vlad's going, yeah, you can. I can help y'all with that if you want me to. All that shit happened in the congressional hearing. I sold some. I had to, I had to sell some. I was going to either sell a few or they could have went hungry. I could have went hungry. I had to do what I had to do. Anybody don't like that can kick the fuck out. Get, get on. At least I'm honest. I didn't sell it, claim, and I made a profit. And as soon as I can get back on my feet, I'll buy some more. Because I love the company. 
Hit the like button. <laughs> so y'all got a homework assignment. We've been going on for an hour, and I got to get over there and start doing some content for my other channel. Go look and go watch. It's 36 minutes long. Chat GPT reads the book to you, and I just scroll through and let you keep up with what's going on uh, with the wording in case you want to read along with it. It's 36 minutes long. It's about the congressional hearing. Go read it. It is good as fuck. Chat GPT wrote it, and Chat GPT read it. He does look like Dracula. I, man, some of y'all can come up with some of the same shit that I'm thinking. I'm like, damn, that bitch look like a vampire. Oh, it matters. There's some things I don't get to sp I'm not spending money on no more. Not much. Alcohol? Man, y'all know me when I first started this channel. I was sitting back. I'd, I'd drink a six pack before I even go on a video. Now, <laughs> a six pack lasts four days in the refrigerator. I got to spend so much money on coffee, <laughs> and I need a cup now. That's how YouTube makes money. Don't get mad at me. That's how I make money, too. Motherfucker. And oh, I'm glad because I was going to open. I'd be God dog. I was going to open with that and say, dear YouTube, I will always skip the fucking ads. Stop with the ads. But if I turn ads on, YouTube pays me. All right. But guess what? If I leave it off, you still going to see the fucking commercial. I just don't get a part of the money. So let me ask you a question. If you have to sit through a YouTube video, all right, and you have to watch the commercial any fucking way to get the information, would you not want the person that's giving you the information to get a half a penny because of your view? And trust me, it's 0 .005 per view. <laughs> don't think motherfuckers get rich off this. Some do. I'm fixing to show y'all how to do it on another channel. I can't believe that blog is doing what it's doing. The keywords, I've got 54 keywords over there already. <coughs> 10 of them are ranking, and that's in one month. And I'm fixing to do it on that YouTube channel. I just told him about that, Paul. <coughs> YouTube's going to run an ad no matter motherfucking what. Do I get to like that? Thank you, Alex, man. That's awesome. You know what? You know what I'm going to do with that $20? Because Frankie Muhammad did video about Lou and he played a Lou video and Lou was explaining that only in a situation like this where you could take $20 and put down in XRP and forget about it and just forget about your fucking $20 and don't watch the fucking stock crypto try to go up or down just Put the $20 in there just like you would put it in, in a book and put it on your shelf and you leave that $20 there and it's going to pay off. That was Lou's promise. And I, and you know what? That's what I'm going to do with that $20. I'm memory of Lou. I'll take Alex's $20 when they pay me. All right. And which is in a mall. And. I will buy XRP, $20 worth of XRP, and I'll put them on the shelf. Don't expect me to start doing a whole bunch of XRP videos because I don't, I'm not a crypto kind of person, but I will take that $20 because it's on my mind, and you put $19.99, and I've seen that video by Frankie on Lou, 
and fuck it. I'm going to put $20 in that book in XRP, put it on the shelf, and let's let that motherfucker ride. What the fuck else? That's what I've done with AMC, and you see how that shit turned out. I wouldn't know what kind of advice to call this. All I'm saying, the shit, boy, the shit. We, I've done talked about a lot of shit, people. So if y'all came in late, you better go see what they did with Citadel. And your homework project. Yeah, because I got to go in just a second. They they need to take me for a walk. Uh, find out what a C S E offering was that AMC did. So with that, love y'all. Be blessed. Time for me to go to work and tell people how they can start ranking their posts on their blog. <laughs> go listen to the audio over there too. Be blessed and I'll see you in the next video.